Whoa, 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 vandalism. You can't make a video on this guy, man. You're gonna get so much hate. What the actual fuck, bro? Like, shit, you're about to get a hate mob on you calling out one of your former favorite YouTubers like this. Shit, man. Okay, but seriously, you guys seem to miss the toxic vandalism, the kind of vandalism who would cyberbully YouTubers who thought very highly of themselves or some shit like that. Since, I mean, you know, I did blow up my channel doing that sort of thing. I think I might continue that as long as YouTube doesn't flag me or some shit because I said Hitler or something. Anyways, guys, it's been a while since I did this sort of thing, and I'm not counting the Slasher Rant or Tana Mojo one because it wasn't so bad. I was basically just exposing them. But anyways, today I'm going to be talking about Mini Lad because there is a lot I need to break down. I know it's been going out for a while, so, you know, bear with me, but I decided to make this video as it's kind of a big deal when you think about it. And you'll understand why in this video as I break it down. Now, honestly, there is a lot I have to say. So before you hit that dislike button, if you're a Mini Lad fan or something like that, understand that I too was a big fan of him for a very long time. So, you know, to me, this kind of feels a little bit personal, but obviously it's not because, you know, I'm not, I don't actually like personally know him or anything like that, but it just kind of hurts me doing this, but I'm still going to do it anyway, because it's kind of a big deal. I mean, just after what's been going on and you'll understand again, once I break it down. So I'm going to start this video now, and I will try my best not to waste your time on all too much. So, Mini Lad or Craig Thompson is a British gaming YouTuber who I would watch back in the golden age of YouTube. Like, around the time Modern Warfare Game Chat was at its prime, okay? And the time I was just finding some people to watch and, you know, get motivated to start a Funny Moments channel with friends. And, well, that certainly didn't go well. I mean, just... You know, most people I'd make vids with left me to die alone until I found a new group of chums I can stream with. A anyway... Ignoring my petty shit and getting onto the point, Mini Lad is problematic and had a lot of issues, especially like mental health issues. Now, I'm not saying he just needs to calm down or anything like that. I'm saying he needs to be locked up because there's a lot that needs to be explained here. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mini Lad. <laughs> Honestly, and I hate to break the pace, but I feel bad for making this kind of video since I looked up to him at one point, but you know. Despite the fact that I had amazing laughs watching his video, it, it does hurt doing this, but, you know, here goes. So, Mini Lad is, in fact, insane and very manipulative. Recently, on Twitter, he has been exposed for sending dick pics to minors and tricking them, saying, you know, he's depressed and shit just to get, like, nudes out of it or, you know, some stuff like that. And just overall being very manipulative towards these victims. Now, honestly, despite, like, whether I'm a fan or not, I'd still feel bad for these people since Mini Lad was known for being one of the nicest guys on YouTube. So for me, that kind of like, that just, that's like some whiplash shit going on there, you know? Like, the fact that I'm just realizing, like, holy shit, this guy actually did something pretty damn awful. Like, shit, bro. Now, before we get into the present of the whole Twitter thing, let's start at the beginning when this was really noticeable. So, when I say really noticeable, you'll probably understand it if you've been a longtime fan of Minilad and, like, Vanoss, H2 Delirious, etc., etc. So... When I used to watch Vanoss Gaming, he used to do, like, these scary map videos on Gmod. And they were actually really funny to watch, by the way. I, I Like, even to this day, I'd still recommend watching it. But, um, they did, like, this little sketch with Mini Lad where he created this character known as Pablo, okay? Now, assuming you know the story, you can understand where I'm going with this. But to further explain about it, Pablo was this pedophile who would kidnap children and obviously do pedo things in bathrooms. And I'm going to play the clip so you understand where this is going. Once there was a man... His name was Pablo. I came back here a long time ago, 1984. I came in here, there was a kid, they come into a kindergarten kids. They come along and they see, and I see and I look at them with lust. <laughs> what? I could not help myself. One of them disappeared one at a time. Oh everybody, everybody started to run. There was blood on the walls. It was horrible. Holy they shit, the <laughs> story. <laughs> I took them all to the toilet. I did very regrettable things to them. They look at their parents, they run. Okay, no, this is really fucked. Okay. Like, You're uh, supposed to stand up when you uh, stop me. Uh, get it! Get it! <laughs> <laughs> I think you've done- So Craig himself knew it was too fucked up to do because Pablo was probably based off of some kind of personality or something like that or some persona he once had or something like that because as you know, like I said, Minilad Lad obviously has some mental health issues. Now, it's pretty obvious that um, despite doing this now, it's possible that he didn't just develop it in the present. He obviously developed it in the past some time ago. We don't know when, who knows, 
But to say the least, I feel like this has been something he did in the past, and maybe this is like a persona he once had due to his mental health issues, but, you know, this is the mental health shit we're talking about. We're not talking about it was a sketch and just a joke, you know? But... Honestly, I don't even think pedophilia should be a joke. But anyways, I'm getting I'm getting a bit off topic, so I'm going to continue with this rant. So judging by my analysis, I can assume that Pablo is actually based off of him, but obviously Craig didn't want to go further, and I can assume because people probably didn't want to click on knowing that this was a thing. So moving forward, when Craig was dating Sunny Day, you probably knew, you probably knew the story. They had a pet dog at one point, and sometime later the dog like passed away. And I can't remember how, but I'm going to focus on this to really get this through. So since he was having a meltdown where he was depressed and shit, I can tell you that I honestly understand how it feels. Like I lost one of my dogs in June, but I was able to move on after just a couple of weeks. It didn't take me too long. Because now obviously I'm doing much better now, but apparently Mini Lad um, was at this, like had this event going on where all of his friends showed up and they're all hanging out. You know what I mean? So, you know, Mini Lad and his friends like Terrorizer or Brian, and his other friends, who were no offense, but kind of irrelevant because it's mainly about Mini Land Terrorizer, were hanging out and, you know, made some jokes that Craig took seriously about. So when they were going to hang out at Mini Lad's house or Craig's place or whatever for the night, Terrorizer and his girlfriend wasn't invited, which led to some drama between the two. So ultimately, they had to break the friendship, Mini Lad making the excuse of his dog and such. And, well, you know, all that shit, making some petty excuses. Brian had to bring up his dad and shit like that. It was just being, like, really petty and shit like that. And so... Later, we find out that Mini Lad was quote unquote making things work, okay? Now, the thing is, is that Terrorizer quickly noticed this and was like telling the truth, saying like things weren't working out at all. This proves that Mini Lad is not only just a big liar, but he loves being the attention whore that loves to just grab everyone's attention and say, hey, we're working things out and everything's gonna be cleared up when that's not the case at all. In fact, I'll tell you this now Wildcat. In, his po in a podcast and like that talked about Mini Lad. People were, all, ki all kinds of people were mentioning about Mini Lad and shit like that. Now, this didn't really hit me until Keemstar brought the news talking about the minors. And speaking of the minors, Craig's fan base are children. And the reason why is because obviously you want to make that big money. Like, obviously, if you, if you have a YouTube channel and you cater more to children, you're monetized, you might make some more money off of it or make a bigger audience at least to make more money. But... The thing is, the fact that Craig's, like, fan base is children kind of, kind of is awkward, and what's worse about after knowing what happened, understand that this guy's, like, 25 years old or something like that, so, you know, I, I don't actually know if that's his official age, I just assume he is, I think he is, last I remember, but I don't know, he could be, like, 26, I don't know. Now, he then did apologize on Twitter and all that, but the thing is, he didn't, like, announce it on his own channel or anything like that, and... In his own words, he was literally hiding and saying nothing, basically. Like, he was literally just uploading his own content as usual, as if everything is over with. But realistically, it's not, because still everyone is making these videos, so I'm doing it too. Now, the thing is, obviously, he is hiding and all that, like how Disney would cover their tracks when a child goes missing in a Disney world. Now, my point is, he did keep it hidden. And not only that, but he had to move countries. Now, apparently, he's living in Ireland as I'm making this video. Now, before, he was living in L.A., where most of his fans were from. But he left his fan base hanging and is literally running away from his problems, like Mini Lad. And this is directed to Mini Lad, by the way. You were honestly a pussy to be doing this, man. And it's honestly disgusting how you manipulate people with their mental health excuses and desires, bro. Now, I'm not a doctor or anything, but honestly, you need help, bro, because running away won't save you, okay? Running away is obviously going to make it worse, and I'm pretty sure you knew that, judging by the fact that everyone's making videos about you right now, okay, man? Now, I don't know why you're being so stupid by doing this shit, but, like, fuck, dude. I'm going to say this now. Logan Paul. Logan fucking Paul is being more than a man than you are, because, like, you remember when he filmed that shit in Japan? He literally, like, made an apology video announcing it. Now, sure, it was probably one of the worst apologies I've seen, maybe the worst you've ever seen, and if you're a Logan Paul fan, you probably just assume he's Logan, so you're gonna support him anyway, but that's not the point. What I'm saying is that he at least... He was at least being honest with himself to prove that, you know, he, he didn't mean to do it even though it happened... And he still had to deal with that shit. And obviously, considering that you're not doing anything about it or taking action with it, you're literally, you're literally hurting your own career, your own content, and your own fan base by doing this. Okay, man. Now, I just want to put out there, and this is a quick disclaimer. I'm not a fan of Logan Paul, but I just I had to put that out there because it's honestly true. Like, instead of writing down a tweet saying all this, you could have literally stood up and 
said something about it in your own words. I don't care if you're a gaming YouTuber. The fact that you don't take responsibility is what you're fucking up at. Like, all you got to do is apologize to these people. And I'm sure maybe he did it on stream. I don't know because I haven't kept up with the streams. If anyone's got, like, if anyone knows if anyone knows that he's made a VOD or anything like that, just let me know in the comments real quick as I'm going on with this. But I just want to address the fact that this is a thing and it happened. And I'm going to break it down for you guys. So simple as that. Now, again, all he's got to do is just apologize to these people and not make it a tweet and actually put meaning into it. Because right now, it just seems like he doesn't care. And while I'm not a huge fan of social justice or SJWs or anything like that, okay, it's honestly horrible that you can't take responsibility for it. You literally moved to another country to avoid your problems, and I never imagined I'd ever see that now. Soon enough, people are obviously going to hate you more and more, and while people will forget about this, I feel like it's going to haunt you forever until you address what you did was wrong. And another thing, you're honestly ruining, again, your entire career by doing this. And it's not hard for me to put the pieces together and figure out this shit because it just makes sense. I'm sure everyone can put two and two together. And we all know what really happened between him and Sunny Day. Apparently, he was abusing her and stuff like that. So, you know, take it from me. And we all know that you can't stand up for yourself, Craig. So, like, you know, what you did to you and Terrorize and not be friends anymore was because of you, Craig. You decided to literally pull the attention on petty crap against him, essentially playing the victim card. And you, he didn't have to, you know? And before anyone tells me otherwise, understand that both Terrorizer and Mini Lad were like the best of friends on YouTube. And if you were a fan of Mini Lad or Terrorizer, you would kind of know that. My point is, Mini Lad needs to just get help. And I hate to be the guy, hate to be that guy, but when your entire fan base is children, and when you talk to children in a pedo like way, or send dick pics, or anything like that, it just makes me think you should not be at YouTube at all. And I'm pretty sure everyone would agree with that. You shouldn't be on YouTube if you're going to do shit like that. Like, I don't want to be the guy to cancel him, right? But honestly, this is something that should be done because I see no other way out for Mini Lad. I don't even know. Like, if he took responsibility for that, I feel like he's just going to go back at it again. Because, again, pedophilia is a disorder. It's it's not just, like, a thing. It's It's actually a mental disorder. So, you know. And I don't know. What do you guys think? Honestly, I would love to know what you guys think down below in the comments so you know if you enjoyed this rant i'm sure you've been dying to see this before uh make sure you slap a like on it and all that now i'm gonna before i end this video i just want to say i'm gonna be working as of starting tomorrow throughout the weekdays only and doing school soon so videos will be coming out later and i'll be streaming on friday saturday and sunday to make up for streaming so videos will most likely be up on weekdays but other than friday so you know expect a little bit late since you know i got a lot on my plate can't believe I made that rhyme, but I did. So with that being said, if you enjoyed, just make sure you leave a like. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. I like reading your comments and opinions and even fucked up shit like this right here, even if it's out of place. Like, who would comment this? You know, I know it's a bot, but just seriously, like, that, that's so out of place, you know? If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on. And I seriously hate ending these videos without an outro because I keep getting copyrighted. But obviously... I can't do much about it right now. Soon in the future, I might have something set up, but, you know, I can't really say much right now. But otherwise, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, keep it real, guys. Peace.